Hey guys, Jared James here, and um, I'm coming to you today just because, as you can see, I'm in my office. I'm, I'm, uh, I just got an email from somebody that reminded me of something that I felt was really worthwhile to share. Um, and I felt like that because, you know, a lot of times what I try to do is I'm trying to help your business, whatever, but I'm really trying to get your overall life in order because that's really what uh, adds to your business, adds to your productivity, whatever uh, you want to call it. And here's a point I want you to remember, okay? Intent trumps perception, okay? Intent Trump's perception. And I want you to remember that forevermore because, you know, as I said, I just got an email and I feel like I've been having this conversation over and over with people lately everywhere I've gone. But I had a situation recently where somebody I knew uh, was dealing with something with our company, with another company, a vendor of ours that was um, doing something and they were having issues and we kept having issues and we were getting really annoyed. And I heard this person on the phone and I heard them start to really get annoyed and, and kind of go to that other level where you now are still having a conversation with somebody, but now you are more so, you know, not taking digs, but you're not going to lose the mental battle of what's happening. And I heard this happen, so I went out and I stopped it and I talked to her and I said, you know, what's the issue? And the person that she was talking to, I knew, was a very nice person, had great intentions, great whatever. And she had said how the person on the other line used a certain word to describe her. Almost like if a guy is talking to another guy and they say, hey, champ. And it's kind of like a, you know, demeaning. It's not, you know, it's not a peer type of, um, you don't say that to a peer, so to say. And I said to her, I said, you know, I don't think she meant it like that. I know her, I know whatever. And she said, yeah, she didn't think she meant it like that either, but it didn't matter. In her mind, her perception was you do that when you're trying to demean somebody or you're trying to whatever. And so the crazy thing was, was that even though she knew that was not the person's intent, it still ticked her off and put her off on a different level. It was now taking a little bit of her peace and she was getting upset about it because her perception was you use that word when you're trying to put someone down. And it made me think of this, and I want you to remember this, and I said this before, intent trumps perception. You see, the problem is, is we get into conversations, we get into things every single day, all throughout the day. You've probably seen this. Some of you are going to send this to your spouse. You're going to send this to wherever. Where you're getting upset all the time. You're getting upset on a regular basis, not because someone was actually trying to malign you or somebody was trying to whatever, but it's your perception that it potentially could be, or that's what you would mean if you were saying, or that's what, you know, whatever it may be. And I want you to remember that when you get upset at somebody for saying something, even though they didn't say what it is you are perceiving it as, what you're really doing is allowing a mirror into what you would mean if you said that. You remember that, okay? And you're really acting on what your perception is of what they said, even though you know that wasn't their intent. And remember, intent trumps perception. Because as long as you are allowing your perception of what someone said to you, what someone did to you, what someone, whether it's reality or not, as long as you are allowing your perception to trump what their actual intent was when they had no intent to harm you, no intent to put you down, no intent to whatever, all you're doing is making a conscious decision to allow your, your peace, your joy, whatever it may be, to be stolen. That's all you're doing. And the reason we do that is because we are a society that, I don't know if you realize this, um, but when you actually get upset, when you actually... Um, or, or whatever. There are endorphins that are released into your bloodstream, like a drug. You, you crave it, okay? Just like a caffeine addict needs coffee, just like a, a drug addict needs drugs, you, we have literally become addicted to being upset. We are addicted to those endorphins hitting our bloodstream. And so here's the thing I want to get across to you, okay? It's not worth it. The number one reason for the top 100 salespeople in the world was ability to manage, ability to control their own state of mind. And so while we're trying to win all these battles throughout the day with people who don't even mean us harm, what's ultimately happening? We're losing the war. Because intent trumps perception. As long as you allow perception to trump intent where someone had no ill means to you, no, no ill will to you or anything like that, you are allowing people to steal your joy, you're allowing people to steal your peace, and ultimately, who's the loser in the end? Okay? So remember, intent trumps perception. Have a great day, guys.